my Sunday adventure in the warmest part of Germany to experience the new urbanism will take us to locations both rich in history and culture. I'll be visiting one of the nation's most beautiful palace that serves as a museum and a vantage point, walk around the unique radial city layout for creative landmarks, and I'll venture farther into what might be Germany's most interactive art center called ZKM. A lot of tourists gravitate towards neighboring cities like Heidelberg and Freiburg. While they may have more tourist traffic, Karlsruhe has a benefit to travelers as the number of visitors is low enough to be sort of a novelty for the locals. Being the first creative city of media arts in Germany, Karlsruhe definitely deserves more recognition and today I'm going to find out more about its charm. After driving about 100 kilometers from Tübingen, I reached the city center where the Karlsruhe Palace lies. Right off the bat, you'll notice the unique radial city pattern. Along with the perfectly placed gardens and the statues, the palace shows off its beauty through geometric harmony. Behind the Baroque facade of Karlsruhe Palace, you will find the Badisches Landes Museum. As a cultural and historical museum, it showcases Baden's culture in an interdisciplinary manner through dialogue with cultural witnesses from all over the world, with a focus on Europe. At the time of my arrival, the temporary exhibition was called Goddesses of Art Nouveau. Although there was an entrance fee, unlike the permanent exhibition, it was definitely worthwhile from the interior design to individual artwork. Goddesses of Art Nouveau exhibition provided an excellent insight on female artists' struggle during the time of Industrial Revolution. Now let's head on to permanent exhibition. Upon entering, you will learn about the origins of Karlsruhe Palace and the history of Baden household. Thanks to the Baden Margraves and Grand Duke's love of collecting antiques, Badisches Landes Museum was able to house internationally renowned ancient collections. As you walk farther into the exhibition, you will see various artifacts from BC era to 21st century. And that doesn't end there. By paying 4 euros, you will have the access to the roof of the palace. Unfortunately, there's no elevator, so you kind of have to prepare yourself for endless stairs. Once you pass the spiraling stairs to heaven, you will find a small door that lets you step outside the tower. The tower offers 360 degree view of Karlsruhe. Karlsruhe Palace was built in 1715 for Margrave Charles III, William of baden Dulach. Hope I got that right. Since then, the city has grown around it like a folding fan. In German, it's called Fächerstadt, which means the fan city in English. I hit the road once more in search of some hidden gems around the palace. And it's not long enough before I come across photogenic places around the garden. Karlsruhe is home to the two highest federal courts of Germany, the Bundesverfassungsgericht and the Bundesgerichtshof. This simple and transparent architecture really accentuates the transparency of the work that they carry out. I've actually been here a few years ago with a good colleague of mine, Oli. Hey, what's up if you're watching this? To help someone relocate his office in Bundesverfassungsgericht. Um, yeah, my German skill wasn't great at the time, but I remember the person being one of the civil rights judges at the Federal Constitutional Court. It was a humbling experience, definitely. <laughs> Karlsruhe Institute of Technology has the largest educational institutions and the largest research institution by funding in Germany. Founded in 1825, this university is now one of the leading German institutions in computer science. This city has an amazing palace, unique cityscape, federal constitutional court, and a leading educational institution for math and science. Well, KIT has a fairly big campus. I had some time to go around the corners and film something interesting, especially the monuments that they established. Um, that was pretty cool. 
Every German city has a Marktplatz where restaurants and shops are located. So I went to Karlsruhe's Marktplatz for some good food. While looking for a place to eat, I've encountered lots of cool things around the town. It's literally a street lamp. I was actually gonna hit the deli burgers first, but then I saw the lines and I had to wait for 30 minutes. So I decided to come to Burger King for get a quick grab, taste worse than any other KFCs that I've been here in Germany but it's okay yeah so now I'm fully recharged ready to go on the journey My first impression of ZKM was just wow. The contemporary design inside really captured my fascination. As a media fanatic, I couldn't be happier than to interact with artworks that are in connection to technology and visual arts. On top of that, there's no entrance fee. It's also interesting to note that ZKM was a former ammunition factory, which now serves as an art center where history and sociology catch up with technology. You can also see why kids would love to be here as well. It's interesting to note that it's not called a museum because it's focused on creating art through guest artists or the employees in the house. I wish I had more time to explore Cars Rue, but today is Sunday and I have to get back home, which is about 100 kilometers away from here, to feed my cats and get some sleep for work tomorrow. From museums to universities and tech companies, Karlsruhe is a truly innovative city that's always in motion, striving to move forward. And of course, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and share this video with others as they would mean a world to me. Thank you so much. And as always, see you in the next video. Bye.